Hello my babies, you're here again with me, B.O.B. Welcome back to my channel! I know it has been like what, three weeks? I have been taking sort of a social media break of sorts, really just taking care of myself, going to the doctors, um, fixing my back, fixing my eyes. I now have glasses! My astigmatism came back, I've been getting headaches. Went to own these and yes, now we must wear these. 24 7 or as as much as possible so guys today it's gonna be so so exciting because i'm gonna do my first ever double unboxing both from louis vuitton that is the reason why i am wearing brown today you know represent and i did buy them at the same time because this was reasonably priced and the other one it was just like a miracle that it was at the store which would you guys like to see first the new one or the pre-loved you know vintage bag hum i'm just gonna start with the new one first so if you're ready let's go we've got this giant box which you pull out we have a receipt in there Ta-da! and we have the dust bag the louis vuitton dust bag with the sticker over there pam pa -da -dum, pam pam hello to my new Alma BB in the Empreinte leather in black. So I've really always wanted an Alma BB and I don't know if you saw my wish list video once upon a time. I wanted it in a canvas but this time I got it in this leather. It is because I already bought my Pochette Matisse in the canvas, in the reverse canvas and I really i'm still sort of craving for that black empreinte leather experience <laughs> when i saw this alma bb in this black beautiful leather i swear i was enthralled when i asked the sa to show it to me they were like oh sorry that's on hold someone's already buying that so we can't can't even look at it ganarn it has always been on my mind and we passed by Soler the other day just out of curiosity, you know. I was like, hey, what's up? Do you have an Alma BB in the front leather? And the SA was like, yes, we do! This one over here! This one was the only one in the store and my eyes went straight to the husband and I was like, hmm, um, um, This to me is an advanced Christmas gift to self. Basically, we have the front leather over here black leather it's grainy over there we have a little very very subtle Louis Vuitton over here label and we have gold hardware we have the feet four corners over there our hardware here is also so gorgeous and inside when you open the bulb we have the black strap you guys know that black bags have my heart we have some inclusions inside the bag we have our the, oh, this is where you put your keys. We have the textile, the sticker, and your keys over here. They put it in a box. Thank you. On the inside, this is what it looks like. It's yellow. Beautiful yellow. We have a side pocket over here on the one side. And on the other side, there is nothing. Close it up. I like that it's kind of, you know, malleable, like a softish leather. Because <laughs> honestly, I, I just can't stand super stiff bags that are hard to get in and out of. This is how it looks like when worn, you guys. I swear, the BB is just the perfect size. And the capacity is just impossible. It's like a Mary Poppins bag. Everything fits in here. That is what it looks like crossbody. I am once again 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, so this lands perfectly on my hips. Maybe if you're shorter, it will go a bit lower. But if you're taller, it, go high, it will go higher. And then, of course, you can hold it just on the top handle like that without the strap. Pretty, so pretty. I actually already opened this and wore it out yesterday. I wore it on a little lunch thing and it was great. It brought me so much joy to wear it out. And that is really what we look for when we're wearing our bags, that we're happy to wear them. We're so excited to wear them. They make our hearts sing. Go sing. Did you hear that? Ah, <laughs> uh, so brown corny. So moving on from my Alma BB, let's go to our next. As you can see over here, we've got a pretty old box. It is in a dark brown. Let us open it. I'm actually not aware like how old this bag is. I just know that it's pretty old, but in still really good condition. So aside from our dust bag, we have 
Mm. We still have the tissue. This bag actually has quite a lot of hype. I have been looking for it for months. And I finally found one in a good price, in a good condition. Let's go! Ooh, she is a beauty! This, my friends, is a favorite. And I swear, it is so many people's favorite bag. And for good reason. I believe this is in the MM size. Basically, your structure is you have this beautiful canvas bag over here. The condition is still super amazing. Corners look amazing. Nothing wrong with the canvas at all. It's just literally a small flap bag. We have our golden chain. So you can actually remove this strap over here, the dark brown leather strap, and just wear it as like a kitty kitty bag there. How cute is that? You can wear it like that. And then you can also drape it on the bag like this if you want to use your leather strap. Once again, perfect drop on my hips for this one. I feel like this is the perfect lazy bag. Like you don't want to worry about what you're going to bring because it actually fits quite a lot in here. It's a big, like a big compartment. But this is actually quite a look I have going on. I like it. Oh, oh, oh. I'm just going to say that this is normal over here. It's going to have some hairline scratches on the metal because of the strap. It just keeps on kind of grazing it. So just like that, I feel like I've completed. <laughs> almost completed like the louis vuitton must-haves for me i now have the epi leather in the black we also have of course our damier bin and then we have our monogram right here for my pochette matisse i have been loving this bag so much like you won't even understand the joy this brings me they all bring me the same amount of joy ah, i am swear I swear I'm going through like a Louis Vuitton phase at the moment. I am loving everything Louis Vuitton and I don't know why. That said, I'm now going to run down the Louis Vuitton bags that are still in my wish list. I now have an actual Louis Vuitton wish list. Number 10 on the list is our Keep All XS. Is that what it's called? Mr. the Yumaliet na Keep All for men. It is like a speedy but longer and smaller and I think that's why it appeals to me so much because it looks sort of androgynous and cool. And because I said that I like the speedy shape, I will say that number nine on my list is the Nano Speedy, the really tiny monogram speedy. There's just something about it. It is so adorable. I feel like I can bring it with me wherever I go and it will look really chic with any type of outfit, even a girly one just because of its size and it'll fit just the essentials. I feel like this would be a great thing to bring with you if you're traveling and you want to know where your passport is and you want to know where your wallet is and you don't want to like rummage through a giant bag. It's just so darn hard to get you guys. It is like impossible. Moving on, we have number eight. I really want a Feli C in the canvas just because it's so tiny and it has this um elegance to it because it looks like a little envelope it's very structured it's small casual and still yet you know sort of refined because of the chain i guess it's so pretty i also like that it has these inserts inside that are like your wallet i honestly i've tried this bag and my wallet does not fit in it so you really have to use these inserts for your cards for your cash and for your coins but your cell phone will fit and that's that <laughs> next up another tiny one with a lot of hype we have our pochette another one that i would love in the canvas just because i feel like you can bring it around every single day like no matter what kind of place you're going to you can wear this. It's not over the top. It's not too casual. I don't know if I should just sort of give up with these hyped up bags. They're so hard to <laughs> get. And I'm just too lazy. I like it if it's in the store. I'll be like, oh, that's beautiful. I get it. Thanks. Moving on, I also would like now an on the go. <laughs> I never, ever, ever thought that this bag would appeal to me. But the more I see it, the more I understand why people like it. It's like a tote, you can put a bunch, it looks good, it's structured, it's pretty. 
tiny one. I saw one in like the dark blue, the kind of shiny metallic blue on the go. Ah! Next, we have our heart bag. I don't know what it's called. I just call it the heart bag. The one that just released in like Hong Kong or something and people have been going crazy about it. I almost bought this just because the shape is so unusual and it's so adorable. The pink one is cute. The canvas is cute. Now we're delving into the bags that I actually might buy someday. <laughs> I have number four, the Crosette. This shape to me is just so classic. I don't know what it is about the shape. Um, it looks to me like I can wear this forever and ever and ever. And it's strange because I kind of even want it in the Dame Azur, which is so unlike me because I am not drawn to light colored bags like at all but for this one i would definitely make an exception it looks so casual and cool it's like a cool girl who's not trying that's who i imagine her to be if she was a person number three we have our capucine now this is the power of social media i really didn't understand this before but now i'm like oh it's just so ridiculously expensive i do not understand but I've seen this in so many colors and so many hardwares and little by little it is growing on me. Number two on the list, oh my gosh, we're so close to the top. I would love a Speedy 20. Yes, I have tried the Speedy 20 in the black, yes, no surprise there. With the gold hardware, it was the most adorable size and I know I've sold my Speedy from before, the Speedy 35. And that was just way too huge. This, I feel, is the perfect, perfect, perfect size for me. And I was really on the brink, like seriously on the brink of purchasing this. Oh my gosh, guys, nagsisimula na. There's construction in our neighbor's condo and it was their lunch break. I really thought I could finish this vlog. <laughs> anyway, the Speedy 20, so beautiful. <sighs> It doesn't give off like Tita vibes at all. It is young and fresh and so imaginative. Anyway, now we're going to talk about number one, the next bag that I would really, 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 really want. And that is our Petit Mal. So this bag, why, 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 why? This bag is so expensive. I see this bag around on like secondhand markets and I'm like, mm -hmm. But when I tried it at the store, like when I was buying my Alma BB, they also had a Petty Mal there. And I was like, gosh, do I get the Petty Mal or do I stick with my BB Alma BB? Well, obviously, the answer is I ended up getting my Alma BB still, despite the temptation of having a Petty Mal in the store. I love the print on it. I love the structure. I love all of the little gold details, all of the hardware. It's really like a statement piece that I feel if you're a collector of Louis Vuitton would be a great addition, but I, I am not. But <laughs> maybe someday when we work more and earn more money. <laughs> so yeah, those are the 10 bags that I would still really love to purchase. That is my Louis Vuitton wish list. So I'm so excited to wear these two babies out very soon. You know, I've worn this, but I haven't worn this just yet. So if you guys want to see me on Instagram and all of my OOTDs, please follow me at Bea underscore benedicto i hope you like this video and i hope i didn't miss anything I'm trying to rush this because of the noise if you like this vlog please hit the like button and subscribe so you can watch all of my next videos i'm sure that i'm going to have some feelings on my new bag so we're gonna discuss you know the wear and tear of them i do have a lot of ideas for my next videos and i really hope that the construction ends very soon so that I can record them for you. What do you think about the two bags and my wish list? Please let me know in the comments section down below. Anyway, that's all the time we have for today. Peace and love. Bye!